Welcome to Productivity in Real Life, where we talk all about real-world use of your favorite productivity applications like Evernote, Notion, Google Keep, Todoist, Microsoft To Do, and of course so many more. Today let's jump back to our Working with Evernote series and discuss the tables of content type notes and why those are important to your productivity workflow. If you're not an Evernote user, jump to the link in the video description and download it completely free. If you don't want to use Evernote, you can still stick around because many of the same principles can be used in most other note-taking applications too. So what is a table of contents just in general? Well, if we jump over to Wikipedia here, a table of contents, usually headed to simply contents and abbreviated informally as TOC or TOC, as we'll refer to it here, is simply a list usually found on a page before the start of written work of its chapter or section titles or brief descriptions with their commencing page numbers. Um, earliest use goes back to 82 BC and a table of contents usually includes titles or description of first level's headings, chapters in longer works, and often includes second level headings and even third level headings as described within the sections as well. And some examples, chapter one, what's in chapter one, those are your nested levels. Example here, one, two, and three. And so that's, that's a table of contents in basic, uh, a, a very basic format. Putting that to use in your note-taking application is basically the same thing. It may not be chapter-related, but it is note-related. And therefore, whatever is in your note, or notes plural, will end up in your table of contents. So let's jump over to Evernote and I will show you a table of contents that I've created here. It's very basic and this page here is just a, a table of contents rotating around various notes and each one of these lines is a different note within Evernote. So each one of these notes is related to some research that I'm doing on the Apple Watch. I don't have an Apple Watch yet and I'm considering getting a smart watch, something a step beyond the Fitbit that I've had now for many years. And uh, of course the Apple Watch is a strong contender. That being said, I want to assemble some research. I want to make sure it is the right device for me. I want to see what different applications I may want to consider installing. I may want to look at different accessories that I want to get. And so my use in Evernote here has been a whole lot of clipping of items off of Amazon. It has been some research based on comparisons. This one's Apple Watch versus Fitbit. Um, here's a one month later review off of YouTube that I've clipped. Here's a comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Active 2 watch versus the Apple Series 5 smartwatch. Um, some apps that people have been recommending uh, a variety of things must have watch apps for Apple Watch so I've clipped a, a number of articles and I've created a table of contents note it's not the one I've just shown you but you get the idea there it is right there So, like described in Wikipedia, a talk note or a table of content note is a way of navigating through some lengthy works, whether that's spanning multiple note pages, spanning different references in different applications altogether, 
that's what a talk note in Evernote can do for you, or a table of content note. So how do we set that up? Uh, you can, I, th I think you can see the benefits of a table of content note or a talk note. It puts all of your research into one spot or your related research into one spot. So how do we set that up? In Evernote, it is super easy. All you have to do is select the notes you want in your table of contents. So in Evernote on the Windows desktop here, it's just a matter of selecting multiple notes. So in this case, we have this one here. We've clicked on it, it's our active note. And we hold our control key and we select all of the other notes that we want in our table of contents. We've selected six notes. Let's go ahead and create a table of contents note. And there is our six notes as a table of contents note, just as quick as that. Each one of these is a link to the note. These are forward and backwards buttons here, and you can go through each one of those. So now you might say, well, these aren't sorted. Or, they are sorted, but they're not sorted in the way you want. So all we have to do is change our sort ordering here. How do you want them to be sorted? By title? Now my notes seem to have disappeared, but we can go back. And in my case, I have these all sorted with a tag. We just go ahead and select all those create a table of contents again. Back to our sort order for updated and there it is. Sorted in alphabetical, descending alphabetical order. So now let's say you want to clean this all up and make this a little bit more presentable. You can Go into here, just add a couple of new lines. Take this image, come over to our new table of contents and paste that image right into there. We can change our title, of course. And then we can further break down our sorting here. So we've got our table of contents going 1 through 19 and we can simply break these up at any point just with a couple of line breaks. And we've got some stuff here that belongs up in the shopping gear to buy. Copy and paste. Apps to get. We got some research items. all about apps. Put that there. And there it is. There is my table of contents note outlining some of my research on the Apple Watch. We had some manual sorting to do and organizing. We've broken them down into different categories and we've kept all these note links 
so that we can quickly review these and quickly have them sorted into their well like I just said their categories so that's it that is the basics of a table of contents type note if you're not using Evernote you will need to understand how your note taking application links notes together of course if it can and build your table of contents note based on that but of course we don't talk just about Evernote here we put all of the other major ones to through their paces as well so be sure to stay tuned and we'll show you how to do the same thing in OneNote and of course Notion use your table of contents notes now for projects summarizing task lists building reading lists and so much more table of content notes will make a great way to keep a collection of notes together so you can of course easily reference them just like you see here be sure you leave a comment below on how you use table of content notes in your own Evernote system or your other note taking system and of course don't forget to like this video subscribe and share it as well if you found it helpful thanks for watching productivity in real life and our working with Evernote series